I hate to admit to it, but I, I have had a few mystical experiences when I was much younger that were real drivers of my approach to my life and how I communicate. I was just spread out all over the universe for a while. That led me to the idea that almost any communication that we have among ourselves, that where we're trying to say something meaningful or specific is kind of in the face of an endless landscape of infinite possibilities. The International Post Dogmatist Group was invented by myself and two other guys in 1987 on March the 21st at three o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> Our idea was a transtemporal dialogue to go beyond the dogma, the belief systems, and try to have a direct, pure experience with life. Uh, not based on you grooming a certain way of looking at the world, but trying to look at the world as freshly as possible at all times. I've always had a strong interest in illuminated manuscripts, sacred scripture from around the world, and the kind of documents that were used 2,000 years ago to develop a spiritual path. I'm kind of eliminating everything except the core reality of the letters. Sometimes I use found lettering, sometimes I use material that I create myself. Then I'll chop it up and make it a collage. And that composition could probably be 50 or 100 or 1,000 paintings by taking small sections of it that I find interesting as a composition and then blow it up to the scale of these larger scale works. I might still be looking at ones from 2001 and deciding if they're ready to be a painting or if I'm ready to make a painting of it or if I want to make another painting based on that. I'm looking for removing the mundane and release them to a timeless space where anyone for the next 10,000 years could look at one of these and it'll mean exactly the same thing. Since these are a lot about tearing up language and reducing it to a silent state, it almost seems uh, counterproductive to speak about it too clearly. On the other hand, it's just an expression of the natural chance and the randomness and the uniqueness that's continuously happening everywhere all at once. 